So, welcome to Module 7 about the hot clock, which is a pie chart used by DJs or announcers in formatted stations to help keep them on track. I mean, it shows things like what song is supposed to be played at what time. And even though computer programs have basically made it easier to compress all this into a playlist, it's still a good idea to have a hot clock within eye shot, I guess you could say, of the person running the show because it gives them an idea of how the hour is going to unfold. So here's what we're going to do for our hot clock. Remember, it's a pie chart, so we start with individual slices of pie. Here's, here's the first piece. It has the designation C for current. A current song or a current category song simply means it's a hit now. People like it now. It's relatively new. For a CHR station and even for a rock station, that new song might be a month or two old. Sometimes it's only a few weeks old. But they're generally regarded as newer songs that are still very popular. The next piece of pie I'm going to put in there is a recurrent song. Now recurrent's a funny term because recurrent really means it's older but still popular, which is just kind of a strange thing to say. Recurrent, you're making it current again. Well, not really. They're older songs that are still popular. Again, depending on the format, that recurrented song might be a few months old, or it might be a year or so old. There's a tendency for AOR and alternate rock stations to play considerably older songs when compared to the age of songs at a contemporary contemporary hit radio station or even a rhythmic contemporary. In between those two songs I'm just going to put an oldies. Now an oldies song is like the oldest song that you play and once again format dependent. An oldies song for a uh, CHR station might be two, three, four, maybe six years old. A oldies or an oldies for a rock station might literally be decades old. It might even be half a century old. You might be playing a song that's 50 years old. At the top of the hour for this hot clock, I have a category P song. The P is for power. Now, a power category has many different definitions, but for this particular hot clock, the power category is actually a current, but it is the most popular of the current songs. So, you know, a current category... That might be the top 20, maybe the top 40 songs. Does that strike you as a familiar term? Top 40 CHR is actually the modern programming lingo for a top 40 hits station. In any case, the power category would be the most popular of the current hits. So you might only have, what, five power songs? As a result, that power song may not be used every hour. At the end of this particular music set, I have an F category song. That's simple. It's called Fill. You're going to fill in a song. Let's suppose this 20-minute sweep, by accident, we only program uh, two or three-minute songs for each of those four slots. Well, you're going to be short. So the Fill song is the song we're going to play if we need to. More often than not, we will drop that Fill song. It'll be scheduled, but we'll just drop it. But if we're running short, yes, we'll play that fill song. And the fill song could be almost anything. It could be a newer song that is sort of, eh, the audience is sort of, eh, about it. They like it well enough if they don't hear it too much. Or it could be an older song that generally is popular so long as you don't overplay it. So there's our first 20-minute set of music. What are we going to do next? Keep playing music? Of course not. We're going to have a break. And for commercial stations, this is where we play commercials. Maybe they do a live promo there. Maybe they do a pre-recorded promo. They do sponsorships. They do a number of things in there. For a non-commercial station, they might play underwriting, which is kind of like a commercial. Or they might do PSAs. Remember what that is? Public service announcements. And then they go back to their regular program, in which in, in this case... The programming is music, so here's the next set of songs, oldies, recurrent, and current, and then we break again. Then we go back to music, more oldies, more currents, more recurrents, and one more break. This particular pie chart, this particular wheel, this particular hot clock, only has three breaks. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. You can do a bunch of little breaks where each break is only one or two minutes long. Or you can, in some cases, or if you're insane, make every hour that has only one big, <laughs> one big break, one huge break. <sighs> in any case, this has three. And then we have this final category song, which we're going to call Spice. Not because the Spice Girls recorded it, 
but because it's a song that you play that your competitor doesn't. Increasingly, between 70 and 95% of the music played on radio stations that have the same format in the same market are the same. That is to say that they're playing mostly the same music. Well, this spice category represents that 5% that you're playing that the other station isn't. That's a way of saying to your audience, this is what makes us different from the other stations in the market. So there's our wheel, our hot clock of music and breaks, but there's other things that could go in there. News, sports, traffic reports, things like that. You'll put those in there in your assessment, wherever they are, in between songs, near breaks, whatever. But you also want to put out the legal ID, because the legal ID is a very important thing to have. And of course, legal IDs aren't the only thing we're doing. We might have a live liner where the DJ opens up the mic and starts talking. 90.1 KSAK. Music and more from Mount San Antonio College. And of course, there are other things than just live liners. We have pre-recorded liners, which are called pre-recorded sweeps or recorded sweeps. They have big production values. 90.1 KSAK Rock Block. And there you have it, a full hour as presented on a hot clock. Now, for your assessment, you get a little bit of a break. You won't really know the categories of songs. So let's take that first set of music, starting off with power, going all the way through to fill. You're not necessarily going to be able to figure out what category those songs on so songs are on, so you know, don't worry about it. You can't figure out what category the song is. It's okay. Don't put five little pieces of pie. Put one big piece of pie covering up all of those five slices and just say music. Simple enough? And there you have it. You are set to go. You should be able to do this module assessment pretty well. If you have any problems, you give me a call. Glad to help you out, all right? <laughs> 